Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be review, uh, gaming review of EA Sports College Football 25. Now, this video is maybe about maybe a week late, and I'm sorry that this video is coming out late. Um, originally, I wanted to do this video last weekend, but last weekend I was I ended up getting busy doing other things like visiting my family, uh, working, going places. So I wasn't able to do this gaming review. But today I'm going to finally do it. I'm finally doing a gaming review of EA Sports College Football 25. If you didn't know that this is the first college football game in about 10 years. Uh, the reason why this is the first college football game in 10 years is because the NCAA football college football franchise had licensing issues with getting the names of the players for the games and so they finally have a deal now it's called the NIL deal where players can be in the game they get paid a certain amount of money for being in the game and the issue is resolved there is real life players in the game so that's good so, as you know, one of my rules for doing these gaming reviews is that I am not going to be doing my favorite team, which is the Pittsburgh Panthers, which you can see on screen right now. There is also a couple other exceptions. I will not be doing teams like Georgia Tech, Florida, Texas, and App State because they are also my favorite teams as well so we're going to randomize this to see which teams we get so the first team is virginia okay we're doing the virginia cavaliers and the, the other team is going to be hawaii so hmm which team do i want to play as do i want to play as the hawaii rainbow warriors or the virginia cavaliers well before I get into it, I want to see what their uniforms look like. So, okay, so that's what the Virginia uniform looks like. There's their away uniform. That's their current alternate. That's their current home option. That's their current alt. Um, hmm. I already know what the Hawaii Rainbow, Rainbow Warriors jersey lo looks like. I'm doing a franchise with them right now. Um, hmm, let me see. Do they have the Navy helmet? No, it's just blue. Okay. Well, that's kind of fucked. Well, I'm going to do their alternate, their current home option, because I like it. Um, you can, okay. We're going to go with the black cleats with, uh, black cleats with primary, secondary, and we're going to go with primary. Okay, so we get, I'm going to be playing Virginia. I'm going to be playing Virginia with our custom home option. Oops, sorry, I accidentally clicked the wrong button. Um, uh, oh shit, um, well, we can get it back. Okay, Hawaii's back. I'm sorry about that, guys. I clicked the wrong I clicked the the wrong button for this. Okay. So now I'm getting Hawaii ready. Um, we're gonna go with white with secondary, or not? Yeah. Let's do white with primary. Okay. So we 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 should be good now. I think. Let me check. Make sure. Okay, we're good. So we got our uniforms ready. I'm playing as Virginia. Um, we're gonna, yes, this is an exhibition game. 
Um, we're going to use the broadcast team. Um, the teams will be even just for fun. Uh, five minutes, run clock, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, okay, so now we're ready to play our first game. So, here's my gaming review of co EA Sports College Football 25. I'm playing as the Virginia uh, Virginia Cavaliers against the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. And we're playing at home. So, so there is a couple things that I want to talk about with this game throughout the video. But I have to get to those things first. The first thing I want to talk about is the field goal meter for this game. I really want to talk about that. Okay, so this is the kind of the... That's kind of the field goal meter if you saw it really quick. That was the field goal meter, but um... Okay, so Hawaii Rainbow Warriors are starting first. Their starting quarterback is uh, Braden Shager. Okay, so the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors start with the ball first. And they are going to pass. And Hawaii is sacked for a 9-yard loss. Hawaii's best warrior is Steve McBride. And it looks like their co Hawaii's quarterback ro rolled out, but he threw the ball away. The stadium pulse is very high today. That is one of the new unique features of the game. And number 23 catches the ball. Yeah, the stadium pulse is a new unique for the game. The old college football games did not have that. They didn't have a stadium pulse. But uh, I think how high and how exciting these games can be. Some, some of these games are exciting. They get really close and high scoring. And I really want that for this video, but the stadium pulse can get really high in this game. So, right now, the Hawaii, Hawaii Rainbow Warriors are doing pretty good. They're starting to drive. And a pass down the field to number zero, who is going to go in for a score. Touchdown, Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. And here is, well, you can't see the kick, kick thing, but I will talk about that when I get to scoring. So, the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors score first. It is 7 nothing, And the Virginia Cavaliers are going to run ball, all the ball out to the 21-yard line. Here's the player matchup for defense. Uh, Peter Manuma and whoever the other guy was. I couldn't see. So, the Virginia Tech or Virginia Cavaliers are going to run the ball off with number five. And he has a decent run for three yards. And it looks like Hawaii or Virginia is going to pass with Colin, Colin Drea, number 10. And he passes off to the running back for a two-yard gain. And it looks like Virginia is going to run the ball again. And he is going to be stopped. But the head coach is going to go for it. Is this a big mistake early in the game for Virginia Tech Cavaliers to go for it on fourth down? And they were fourth and three, and Cube Pace picks up the first down. And it looks like Virginia is going to be running the ball again. And they have a decent game for another three yards. And it looks like we're going to be doing a reverse pass here. 
not a typical play that I like to use, but um, the reverse pass is incomplete. It is now third and seven for the Virginia Tech Cavaliers. This is the second, third down of the drive. And it looks like the Virginia Cavaliers are going to run the ball and they're going to pick it up for a short gain for the first down. And it looks like a pass to number somebody, I think number eight, to number eight. And that is the end of the first quarter. The Hawaii Rainbow Warriors are in the lead by seven. So for team comparisons, Hawaii has done a good job passing the ball. And Virginia has done a good job running the ball. So now it's first down and ten in the beginning of the second quarter. It looks like Virginia is going to now run the ball once again for a one-yard gain. And it looks like Virginia is going to pass here. And he's rolling out, and it is incomplete. And, ooh, they're calling an audible here. It looks like Virginia is about to pass again. And they are going to pass to number eight, which is incomplete. And it's, it's fourth down and nine, but the head coach wants to go for it. Will the Virginia Cavaliers pick up this first down, or will it be a third and out? And it looks like it is going to be a catch by number eight. Once again, targeting number eight, Malachi Fields. And it looks like the Virginia, Virginia Cavaliers are going to once again run the ball with number five, cube pace. And a good run, but it's second down in inches. And it looks like the Virginia Cavaliers are going to go with a little bubble pass here. Pretty common in college football. No, it's a run. He gives it to Q Pace. But now it looks like Virginia is going to go for a real pass here. And it's a little pass to number four, but it is incomplete. Once again, it looks like Virginia is going to pass the ball. And he dumps it off to the tight end, or wide receiver number four. And it looks like Virginia is going to run the ball. Maybe a safe option here. And it looks like number 20 is going to pick it up. And it's a touchdown for the Virginia Cavaliers. Number 20 with the touchdown. And all the team is excited for scoring. And here's the thing about this game. Here is the kick meter. So this is just for this is just for the PAT. But when you're doing field goals in this game, it's kind of hard. So you see the meter moving. When you're far away and there's big wind. There, it's hard. It's hard. So you got to try to get it in the middle, which I didn't. And then you have to tap the bar for it to go in. It's kind of hard. So what is my opinion of the kicking system in this game? Um, I think it's okay. I think Madden's kicking system is better. Um, because really, kicking a field goal and kicking a P... PAT in this game shouldn't be that hard, but it is. And for and Hawaii ran ball, tried to stop him. Ooh, number 30 of Hawaii just kept going, Len Sims. But, and that's the two-minute warning in the second quarter. It's a tie game. Hawaii Rainbow Warrior 7, Virginia Cavalier 7. But anyway, yeah, the kick meter, I think it's okay. And the Hawaii quarterback rolls out, and it is intercepted by number zero, the Virginia Cavaliers. What a big mistake by the, by the Hawaii Rambo Warriors. So, it looks like, it looks like Virginia, the Virginia Cavaliers are going to get the ball with some time. Let's see if they can pick up a 
a score here. And they pass to number zero, and it is incomplete. That was their tight end. Not too sure what his name is, but he it's an incompletion. And it looks like they're going to pass off to number four, who got the touchdown earlier. And it's third in inches, and Hawaii's going to go, or Virginia's going to go for another pass, and he is sacked by Kata Paluda. So, what is Virginia going to do here? And they are going to run the ball. Will this be a mistake for Virginia Cavaliers? And it is... He's running, and it is... And he did not pick up the first, first down. So, Hawaii has their ball at the 25. Can Hawaii pick up a score here after the mistake? And it is incomplete. A big hit by Virginia Cavaliers. So it's second down and 10 at the 25. Can Hawaii pick up a score based on that mistake? And catch by number zero who had the touchdown earlier. And time is running down. Time is running down. And it is a pass and is caught by number zero once again, but he does not get too far with the stop of the Virginia Cavaliers. And it's going to be a pass again, and it is intercepted again by number three of the Virginia Cavaliers. The Hawaii Rainbow Warriors have been having trouble passing the ball today. Can and Hawaii is down at their or Virginia is down at their one, and they're just simply going to run the ball here, making sure they don't do anything stupid. Can Virginia score? Let's find out. And he passes off, and it's intercepted by Hawaii. Man, there's been a lot of turnovers in this game, ladies and gentlemen. That is the third turnover today by both teams. Three turnovers. Can the second half be as close and will a team actually score? And it is incomplete. It is an incomplete pass. Hawaii's looking to do something here. And big sack by the Virginia Cavaliers. That is their second sack of today on the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. And it looks like Hawaii's going to try to go for one more pass. Maybe try to go for a touchdown here. And it is incomplete. And it looks like the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors are going to try to go up by three in halftime. So far, a pretty close game today. And it is good. The kick is good. And Hawaii has the lead going into halftime. Maybe uh, Virginia can pull off a miracle here. And number 26 is going to take the ball out. Oh, what a big play. Oh, my God. He is going to go to the house. Come on, 26. And he is stopped. But a great play by number 26 to end the half. What a huge play. He almost went for a touchdown. And the player spotlight is Pofili Ash. Look, number zero for the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. He's been targeted three times. He has three catches for 71 yards and a touchdown. So far, this has been a pretty close game today by the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. Coming all the way out to Virginia from Hawaii. Not a game usually seen in college football. A team from Hawaii coming all the way to Virginia, but it is a special game. So... The Virginia Cavaliers get the ball back to start the second half. It is a pretty close game. Let's see what the Virginia can do after that big mistake. And number 25 takes the ball out. Stiff arm. No good. He gets to the 17. And it looks like the Virginia Cavaliers are going to do a touch pass here. And they go to number 5, the running back, who is has a big game on the ground. And it looks like, it looks like this might be a trick play here. Will Virginia pass or run? 
and they decide to run for a pretty decent game. Right now, Virginia is rolling. And it looks like they pass off to number four once again. And the pass is complete for about seven yards. And Virginia is going to be running the ball once again. And number 20, who got the touchdown earlier, is out here. And it looks like he is going to pick up a decent run here. Pushing for more yards. And he gets the first down. And it looks like... Virginia is going to go with a pass here, and it looks like, and he's going for a big play, touchdown Virginia, number zero, what a great play by the Virginia Cavaliers, what a great pass for the touchdown, nobody was covering number zero, but the Virginia Cavaliers score, 13-10, and it looks like Virginia is going to go for a PAT here, and it is good. So, the Virginia Cavaliers are now leading 14-10 to 10 over the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. But it is still the third quarter. There is a lot game left to play, and it is a very close game here in Virginia. And what a big tackle to the 19. So, the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors are out here for their next series. The last time they scored was three points. And a stop here on the run. Nowhere to go. And it looks like Virginia might pass here. Or Hawaii might pass. And it's caught, but it's stopped. Making sure McCray, McBride doesn't go anywhere. And it looks like Hawaii is going to pass again. Not very good in passing today. And it's intercepted again by number four. The third interception today by Virginia. He could have took that back for a touchdown. And it looks like now Virginia has control of this game. And it looks like Virginia is going to run the ball here. A simple play. And he is in for the touchdown. Pace scores. First touchdown of the game for Pace. Number five. Touchdown. Virginia Cavaliers. And now the Virginia Cavaliers are kind of pulling away in this game. Can Hawaii come back? The score is Virginia Cavaliers 21. Hawaii Rainbow Warriors 10. And it looks like, ooh, Hawaii's going to run with the ball. Big mistake. They're stopped at the 13. Can the Virginia Cavaliers get a safety here? Well, it looks like Hawaii is going to pass. And he throws that ball off to number four for a yard. Nothing doing for Hawaii. And the pass is complete, but it is stopped. Third down and one, caught by Perry, number four. And it looks like the third quarter is running down. Virginia is leading this game. A dip pass off to number 23 for the first down. Hawaii has some life in them. Let's see what they can do. And a pass, and it is incomplete. There is three seconds left in the third quarter, and it looks like Hawaii might pass here, and they are, and it is complete to number, I'm not too sure who that was. So, at the end of the third quarter, Virginia Cavaliers, the Virginia Cavaliers have played a great game today. Two third down completions and three interceptions. So the Virginia Cavaliers are leading 21-10. to 10. There's only five minutes left in this game. Can the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors make a comeback against the Virginia Cavaliers? And it is intercepted again for the fourth time in this game. What the fuck is going on with the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors? And it looks like Hawaii is going to, or Virginia is going to run the ball again. 
here, number five, Pace. And Virginia Cavaliers are going to pass the ball here. And they're going to pass off to number four, who catches it, and he's going. He keeps going for a huge gain, almost a touchdown. And it looks like the Virginia Cavaliers are once again going to run the ball at pace. Can he get his second touchdown of the game? And he runs it. Ooh, ooh, and they stop him. And it looks like Virginia might pass, but it also could be a run. And they are going to... And ooh, the quarterback is sacked, but there's a flag on the play. And holding on the Virginia Cavaliers, their first penalty of the game. And Hawaii accepts the penalty. So that's not good for Virginia. So it looks like Virginia is going to pass here. And they dump it off to number zero for the touchdown, Virginia Cavaliers. Number zero catches the ball. And it looks like this game might be out of reach for Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. The now score is Virginia Cavaliers 28, Hawaii Rainbow Warriors 10. But the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors are not out of this game. There's still time left to play. Maybe a comeback is possible. Maybe they will have a good performance at the end of the game. The defense for Virginia has played great today. With four interceptions and two sacks, can their dominance continue? And it is pass, and it's almost intercepted again. It's almost intercepted again for the fifth time today. But, and they're going to be passing again, and it's complete to number seven, Steve McBride. And... Hawaii Rainbow Warriors are kind of trying to make a comeback for themselves. Is it possible? And he throws the ball away. Almost intercepted by the defenders. And Hawaii's going to pass the ball once again. It's complete to Steve McBride. Oh, what a terrible play. Steve McBride. For the touchdown! Touchdown, Hawaii Rainbow Warriors! The Hawaii Rainbow Warriors get the touchdown with their biggest player of the game. So, the game is not over for the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. 28-17. And it looks like the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors are going for an onside kick with two minutes left in this game. And it's picked up by McDonald, 16 of the Virginia Cavaliers. All the Virginia Cavaliers need to do is put ice on this game and they will win. And it looks like the Virginia Cavaliers are simply just going to run the ball with pace. And it's for a one yard gain. Pace is looking to go for 100 yards this game. And we're almost at the two-minute warning. And Pace with a two-yard run. Two-minute warning. And it looks like the Virginia Cavaliers are going to run the ball once again. And they are stopped. Fourth and ten. And they're going to try to go for a 54-yard field goal. And this is what I mean by it being difficult from kicking from far away. So let's see. I got to get it just right. Ooh, that was good. Oh, and the kick is no good. Just missed from 54 yards. So after that mistake, after that missed field goal, it's still 28 to 17. Hawaii, the Rainbow Warriors have some time. Caught by number 89, I think. So... Hawaii is in their hurry-up formation. They still have some time to do something. Can the Virginia Cavaliers hold off the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors and win this game? And pass by Steve McBride. Caught by Steve McBride once again.
And Hawaii's down at their own end zone with a minute and 30 seconds left. Can they do something? Can they make the comeback? And it is, oh, incomplete. Almost intercepted by Virginia for the fifth time today. Virginia is going to pass once again, and he is down, and he threw the ball away. Almost sacked. And Hawaii is going once again for a pass. Can they get a touchdown and keep their dreams alive when he is dead? And it's caught by number four. But it is no good. He did not pick up the first down. And it's fourth and two at the four. Can Hawaii pick it up? And they're going to pass. And it is complete. But it is also incomplete. Stopped by Virginia. And the Virginia has their ball at the own four. And they're just going to try to run this clock down. Can Virginia win the game? And they pick it up. A two-yard run. And Hawaii, Rainbow Warriors, take a timeout. They're trying to keep some time to try to win this game. And once again, the Virginia Cavaliers are going to run the ball with one minute left. Number five, pace for a yard. And it looks like the Virginia Cavaliers are going to do a pass, but it is a touch pass, and they're doing it with number four. And it looks like it is going to be, oh, it's going to be a big play. Number four, going, 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 30. 20, 10, touchdown Hawaii, Virginia. And the Virginia with a big play tanned off the game. And it looks like it's pretty much Hawaii's over with. And Virginia Cavaliers are now leading 35 to 17. And it looks like 44 seconds left in the clock. But Virginia's down, or Cavalier, or... Hawaii's down, and a big tackle at the 16. Can Hawaii make one more big drive to make a decent game for themselves? Let's find out. And Hawaii is going to pass, and it, 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 it is over the head, and it is caught by Steve McBride. Touchdown, Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. And... Hawaii scores. It is now 35-24. to 24. Can Hawaii get the ball back? Can they at least make it a three-point game? And Virginia is going to... The Hawaii Rainbow Warriors get the ball back, even though that should be a penalty in real life. Yeah, in real life, that would be a penalty. They did touch the ball. And it is incomplete. Can Hawaii make a comeback? They're down by 11. Hawaii is passing, and it's caught by Steve McBride once again for his third touchdown of the game. And the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors are going for two. Can they score? And it is complete. They get the two points. Can Hawaii get the ball back and score three to go to overtime? And Virginia picks the ball up. And it looks like Virginia is going to win this game. And they are just going to kneel it and win the game by three. The winners of this game, the Virginia Cavaliers, 35 the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, 2032. And it was a pretty good game by both teams. The heart of the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors and the determination of the Virginia Cavaliers. And the player of the game is actually not from Virginia. It's actually Hawaii, but Hawaii didn't win the, this game. Big scores from both teams. And that's the end of the game. The winners of this game, the Virginia Cavaliers, 35. Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, 32. And that's the end of the game. So, so, 
What are Joey's thoughts on EA Sports College Football 25? Um, overall, I think the game is good. There is some issues with the game. I think the kicking system in the game is okay. I feel like they could have done more with Road to Glory, the career mode in this game. Uh, they could have also added more achievements for this game because I have, and you're not going to believe this, but this is my only, I'm going to show it off, this is my only platinum. This is my only platinum. College Football 25 is the only platinum that I have in my entire history. I have gotten every trophy in this game. And I am only in the few per I'm only the few percentile that I actually beat this game. But anyways, so overall I think EA Sports College football game is a good game. Please post your comments. What are your thoughts on EA Sports College Football 25? And if you guys like this video, please don't forget to please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Period.